So here we have it. We are back with the mission to get the full lacing uh, down the Guinness glass. Um, now, I've done more research. I've spoke to uh, landlords and landladies who have provided me with a really nice pint of Guinness. Um, I must admit, the Guinness I had at the gig the other day from the Snooker Club in Syston, I'm gonna do a top button up, um, I was so impressed with that. Uh, if you look on the Instagram page, um, uh, at, you know, the Spencer, I'll cool. link in the video. Um, yeah, it was um, it had laced all the way down the glass. The initial sip was there. That's what I'm after. So I asked them, they said they'd do a regeneration of the glasses. I asked um, Jackie at Duffy's Bar, they do a regeneration of the glasses. When they said that, I thought, is it a regeneration? Is it like get rid of the old glasses and uh, bring them back? No, it's actually a go-to glass cleaning product that they use in the glass cleaning machine. Um, so I've researched it, I've looked, it's the leader. Um, and you'll see at the end of the video um, how I did it and what I used. Uh, so please stick around. Um, even if it goes a little bit wrong and it doesn't lace the glass, I'm not going to be too disheartened because it's the first time I've used this product and I, I rinsed the glasses out just under the tap. But I think, looking as it, as it is, I should get an, another set of brushes, another bucket, constant running water, and rinse them, rinse them, rinse them with the brushes. So if it don't work this time, this video will take a little longer to come out because I will go and do that and then add it to this video. So it will all come in this video. Okay, so here are the candidates over here for tonight. So I have got two uh, Guinnesses to do. Uh, I'm also going to do a lager and I'm also going to do, I don't know, an IPA because I've cleaned these four beauties here with a new method. It's all about the Guinness tonight and it's all about getting the lace in. But I thought, well, I've cleaned them. I know the salt method with the bicarb works with all, it, you, I don't get no bubbles on the glasses. It works even with the uh, Budvar, um, you've got the crashing combination coming back up, the head retention still there, everything. If the head just disappears pretty quick, it could be because your, your glasses are, are, are dirty. It's not the beer's fault. Um, you know, clean glasses means the head retention will stay there a long while. So anyway, without further ado, I'm gonna get out the first Guinness. But what I've done in Tesco, okay, the Guinness Nitro Surge now, which we use with this bad boy, are £8.25 for four cans. But now Guinness have brought out, as you've probably seen, these new pint size cans. And in Tesco's, they were £6.25, right? Okay, so I've got some of the nitro surges anyway, but I've topped up. And, uh, and I've bought uh, four cans of the Guinness Draft can, which is the new size can. So you're talking £8.25 for the nitro surge, £6.25 for the pint can. So you're still allegedly, you're getting a pint because um, obviously the 440 cans are always short on the pint. Uh, but the thing is, you're not getting with a draft can, you're not getting the experience of the two-part pour. You're not. So for me, I really like this. Um, I will just have a draft can if I want to drink Guinness. Uh, but if I'm serving it, I, I really like I like the people watching me do this in here, my friends or whatever will come around. So anyway, waffling on, I'm going to get these uh, beers out and I'm going to pour them both into my beer clean glass and I'm gonna drink them both together, and literally they're gonna go down very quickly because I'm told to, in order to get the lacing down the glass, um, you really got to sort of like drink them as Guinness should be drank, fairly smashable. It's a very great drink. So yes, stick around. We're gonna do this, people. I am gonna bring a fully laced Guinness um, glass with a perfect pour to the Spencer Arms, hoping that one of the Guinnessers or one of the Guinness gurus will go, I want to come down to a pint in your in your pub, your garden pub, and review it, yeah? Okay, stay with me. So here we have it. Here we have the Nitro Surge can. Be very careful not to disturb it. And here we have the new size draft can. Now these are chilled to the temperature I like them at. Here we have one glue. Now, I'm not kidding you. I can feel the stick from my fingers on that, right? Oh my God, that is squeaky. Oh, 
I can feel it. I can feel it. Um, the only thing is, ooh, probably not as dry as it should be. They tell me they have an air dryer. I'm so excited, so excited about this that I just like, I probably should have left them overnight, but I can't. I'm too excited. So first off, um, I think we'll get the Guinness Draft Stout in. Um, now, how you pour this is basically up to you, I think. I think it's pretty much a just chuck it in. It is a chuck it in. It really is. Um, you do end up with a... I don't really worry too much about the pour on these because you do end up with a bubbly head. It's, to be quite frank, like, I've probably poured it wrong. There is a, there is a method of pouring this. I'm not really... Um, that, now that has filled because you can see it over the edge. So I'm not, I have absolutely destroyed that, but it's a live video and I'm not going to um, backtrack on it. Um, so here we go, it is the baby, here is the baby. So this baby is going in the uh, 250 glass and uh, yeah, so let's crack this open. Oh, crikey, let's get the cap on it. I'm a, a little nervous, actually, for some reason. I am a little nervous because I'm so desperate for this to go right. Now, this, I am concerned about this, Paul. I really am. Now, I've seen a lot of people saying that you should touch the nozzle on the glass. No. Look at that. See how I'm resting that on the glass? For me, that is what you want to be doing to keep that nozzle away, to get that smooth pour, to get it, and then you've got to obviously take away because you don't want it touching the glass. I think I'm up to the heart, yeah. So the difference in the head is unbelievable, but I would still say you can get a really nice, smooth, creamy head with the draft can. I'm just <laughs> chucked it in because I don't know what it is. It's like... Um, it's not the experience, so it's. I'm not. I'm not overly uh, cautious with that. Tonight is about getting the perfect pour out of that because that gives you the two part perfect pour with a penguin, as people call it. Gives you the experience. It does, doesn't it? Um, so this one, the first one, it's not too bad. It's settling nicely. Obviously, it's gone over the top, so it's ruined. It's ruined the look of the glass. So I do, do apologise for that. But you know, it's look, so we can have a dome on that. We can get a dome on that. So this new draft can, I'm I'm speaking really quickly, I'm sorry, because I'm, I can imagine this video is gonna end up like 50 minutes long and I'm gonna have to be trying to cut loads out. So I'm just yellow spenno waffle. I'm gonna use that hashtag, get it up and running. So yeah, so there we are, the, the full size can. Um so right, this one's looking good. This has had this 60 seconds thing. Don't turn this back on, I keep saying it. Every time I do this, don't turn it back on. Just turn it up, past the 45, past the horizontal, and get it in there. A nice one action, nice and smooth. If you've got this as really, really cold as it expects, it will not go over the top. Oh, oh, I see, I stopped there. This must be, and I'm a little disappointed because there is a couple of bubbles in there. Um, so like, and the reason that is, is because like a fool, I stopped it short, didn't I? Um, but, oh, I've caught that just right. So, anyway, so here's your five pound, uh, six pound 25 for four cans, new size Guinness to draft to fill your pint glass up. Hmm, hmm, however, can I lift this without spilling it? Oh, crikey. Here is, here is your Nitro Surge. Fill your pint glass up. Okay, Coca. Now that is full. I can't really tip that. It doesn't need it. The dome's already way over the top, just all by itself. Right, so ladies and gentlemen, honest to God, right? I can't even tell you 
I can't even tell you how excited I am about this. And if this gives me the lacing, you're going to see me smash these pipes down me to take it for the team to bring to you a proper pour. You know, it's a difficult thing to do if you're cleaning your glasses by hand. <sighs> right. Oh my God, wish me luck, please, 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 please. Now I'm just about to do this and everything I watch always goes to an advert <laughs> when it's about to happen. So I hope these don't, but here we go. Cheers, everybody. Is it salute? Oh, I hope I got that right. I'm too, I'm too excited. Cheers, everybody. Please, come on. Come on, the Guinness gods. Come on. Cheers. Oh, Guinness gods. You've sort of like let me down again. Oh, right. Into the draft one. Let's see. Oh, right. Oh my God, I'll be back. I'll be back. A disappointment. Don't worry. I'll be back. So there we have it. I've quaffed it. Oh, it ain't bad. It's the initial. It's the initial I want. Oh, but apparently when you drink Guinness, you are supposed to drink it and turn the glass when you drink it. So I've heard from the Guinnessers. So yeah, I mean, I'm still pleased with that. But it's not like what I'm about to show you now. Okay, I must remember what I've done this. I will show you a photo of one I had the other day. Uh, so that's coming up now. So... A bit of cream left in the bottom. But look, you know, I've been to many pubs and I've not had the glass finish like that. Now, I think what has happened is I've used this um, solution, this chemical, uh, and um, and I probably, it's the rinsing process that I think is very important. But I'll bring it in this video. It's coming. It's coming. So anyway... This one, let's drink it. Right, I'm gonna smash this down in front of you, face. Oh, do you know what? I can't actually do it because I've literally just had dinner <laughs> and I knew what I was doing down here and I knew I was gonna have four bites maybe. So I knew I had to, um, yeah. I had, to I had to have something to eat, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Don't underestimate this 4% uh, beer, you know. Uh, what we got? What is it? What is it? What is it? 4.1. Uh, 4.1. Both 4.1. Uh, don't underestimate it, you know. You know, you start smashing this down, you but that's terrible. So, um, yeah, I don't know what to say about that. But I'll be coming back, so watch the space. So, guys and girls, I'm back. <laughs> I've ran up the house. I've cleaned the glass again. I've rinsed the ass off it. Um, if this don't work... Then I'm going to get some new brush. I've just said that and whatever. I've got another can. Uh, this isn't as cold as it should be, but I, it's not about that. I like Guinness warm. Uh, Jenny just says to me, um, so how, how, how many have you took for the team so far? I'm like, oh, just two. Um, so anyway, I, to be honest with you, it's just the passion to do it. This is the thing. It's the experience with Guinness. You know, there's a lot of people that slag Guinness off. But, you know, at the end of the day, there's a reason why it sells by the millions of gallons, isn't it? You know, it really, really is like the... I mean, crack, if you think about a beer, seriously, that everybody in the world knows. You could go... I'm sure you could go pretty much anywhere in the world. And say, Guinness? Yeah, we know Guinness. So, come on, they're doing something right in there. Uh, um, and so for me, yeah, you know, I love, I love a pint Guinness. Um, 
So, right, so anyway, regardless of this going wrong, you may see video after video after video after video. I don't care, right? If you choose to watch it, you do, and I appreciate it. Uh, I appreciate the new subscribers as well. If you don't want to watch it, then that, 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 that's fine. Um, so anyway, so what I've done, <laughs> I've cleaned the glass again in the solution. I've rinsed it thoroughly, but this time <laughs> I've dried it with Janie's hairdryer because the, the premise is that you should have a really dry glass. This glass has got to be the cleanest fucking glass I've ever done, ever, using the right stuff. I think the only problem I'm having is I'm not probably rinsing it enough. So I'm going to go one more go now uh, and see what we get. It feels, it feels grabby. Ah, oh, right. I mean, it's rain. It's pissing down with rain outside. I'm running up and down. Or, or whatever. Um, I'm sure whether or not you appreciate it is a, is another thing. But if you're having a laugh and you're taking the piss out of it, then that's all well and good. Because at the end of the day, it's all about living, laughing, and loving. And I tell you something. There's nothing. You you think about it, right? Whenever you got like anything worrying you, if someone makes you laugh, that worry goes. So if you're laughing at me then I hopefully, that end, if you've had a bad day, it's all sorted now because you're laughing at Spano waffling on. Right, here we go. Come on, come on. I know you're all praying for me. You are, ain't you? You're all, you're all going, come on, Spano. Or you're going, this twat's frigging an idiot. Um, but either way, you know, I don't care. I'm having fun myself. Janie's supposed to have been around a friend's today. Um, she's supposed to have gone and met a friend that was coming over from Denmark. Uh, but unfortunately, the, she was unable to come. So I said to her, oh, shit, because you was away um, for the evening, I was going to go down the Spencer Arms on, you know, on a Thursday evening uh, when we don't normally drink. And I was going to, like, um, smash out a few pints of Guinness um, to try and get this lace in. And I was going to clean the glasses and have a lager and an IPA as well and probably end up, like, just crashing out and... Uh, Hopefully the alarm will get me up and uh, and I'll be ready to go. But it would have only been four or five pints, which for, for me is not really the, the end of the world. Um, but anyway, so I've got a much bigger head, like, a much bigger settling head now because of the... Oh, or oh, is it sticking or is it... Oh. Um, but anyway, regardless of whether uh, this video um, works, this glass cleaning um, stuff works... Um, it's you're going to see me slowly getting drunk and, uh, and 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 laughing at me and fast forwarding and and and, and that. Um, so anyway, I'll be back. so you know what I wrote a song uh, about me uh, being just a humble humble guy. Um, whenever I gig or I sing, I mean, uh, there's a video that I've put up that has me singing a few songs. But um, I'm an old boy up there playing my guitar and singing and. Um, and I do get a lot of people say to me, you know, you've got a really, really good voice and and you're really good at what you're doing. Oh, my God, I'd like you to gig at my place and this or whatever. But I'm, like, oh, I'm so shy, you know, I'll play and then I finish. I just want to sit down and, and just do what I do. Uh, I'm quite humble with that. But I am actually going to jump out of my tree now. If someone says to me, Lee, are you a good guitarist? Are you a great guitarist? I say, oh, yeah, I'm all right. Uh, if someone says to me, like, Lee, can you sing? I go, yes, I can. I'm confident that I can sing. Um, but I would say, but he's a better singer than me or she's a better singer than me or, or, or whatever. I'm always, when I did the open mic, I'm always there to do my stuff, to introduce the open mic, sit down and watch other people play, especially the young folk, because some of the young folk blow my mind. They're so good. Um, but I am going to come out of my humbleness here and I'm going to say, I arguably think that over the whole videos I've seen and all the people that do this nitro surge cap and everything else, I, can, I reckon that, that I am probably one of the best pourers of the Guinness um, other than, you know, in a pub. I mean, seriously, look at the dome on that. You know, seriously. That's the creamiest pint. And... So I think, and it's got no bubbles in that head. I kid you not. Can you see it? So as far as pouring, 
this into a glass using this cap and doing it properly, I think arguably I've done I've watched loads and loads of videos out there. And I yeah, I think I'm I'm gonna say I think I'm one of the best. <laughs> there, look, shut up, Spano. Right, come on, let's get some lace on this glass, but I'm not one of the best getting the lace on the glass. Right, cheers, God blimey. Cheers, everybody. It's just never gonna happen, is it? I'm just gonna have the creamiest pine with this fucking cream on my on my tash, but I'm never gonna get that initial cream, am I? It's just not gonna happen, is it? Oh my god. Guinness, what are you doing? to me. <sighs> you know what, I'm going to quote Ed Sheeran, I think, I think, and uh, if Ed, if you're watching, because uh, I know that you're a big fan of mine, <laughs> I did, I did one of his songs at the, last weekend, and uh, it was just a little bit, I can sing it brilliantly at home, but as soon as I'm in front of the mouth, oh shit, I should have like got a capo up, it was a bit high, but anyway, um, he said, it's not about how successful you are, I think. It's about the failure. So I am going to put this video out here. The video is out there because look at my other Guinness video when I done it with the salt and the bicarb. And I was really pleased with the lacing on that at the end, at the end, of, the, at the end of the day. This is actually giving me less lacing. And I can't believe it. I've just cleaned it in the same way. And I've rinsed it more than I did, but it's given me less than what I had earlier on. It's unbelievable. But then it could be down to the temperature. I don't know. But I will do it. And I am going to keep this video out there because you can follow my journey to do it. Seriously. There you go. Let's lace the full glass, but 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 unfortunately, it is it is it is sailing down a bit. So yes, I can lace it with a cream. I can do it. Look, it's not as good as the one I did before, and it's not as good as the other video. But you know, oh, I'm going to try the rinse method. So anyway, so this video will go out, uh, but I am going to try. I'm going to order some more brushes. I'm going to do it again because this is the leading product. Maybe my water weren't hot enough. I don't know. This is the leading product um, for cleaning glasses. Um, and um, yeah, so come on. This is, a this is a slight fail. You know, support me on this. It's a slight fail. But by failing, you strive to get better. Uh, Here we are then, guys. I'm back. And I've thoroughly rinsed out. I've cleaned the glass the same way. Thoroughly, thoroughly, thoroughly rinsed it. Rinsed out using the brushes and everything else. Uh, now, the um, head of quality control at Guinness, he actually uses salt to clean his glasses and he gets some incredible... I've only just looked at some of his videos and things and I can't believe it. I went for... I, mean, I looked at my actual Guinness review on the on the Surgicam and somebody did mention in there about bicarb and, and salt and, and such like. And um, so it might have been that their idea. So thank you very much that I got onto that. But I did always, I've always used bicarbonated soda for, for cleaning things. And I've always known salt is good salt water. But I've been putting the salt in. He actually makes a salt water and uses a bottle brush. And he seems to get great results. So if this... Um, regenerative with a regeneration powder doesn't work i am literally going back to the salt because i've got the best results there and looking at what he's done i should even get it so anyway so here's the glass let's go again let's get this open now this i've got this really cold so this is cold as in really how it should be i think it's about how the guinness at four degrees um, have your ambient glass and um, the cap at so you like you know ambient temperature and that gives you five degrees which is apparently what this beer should be served at now I am really really hoping to get some results here please I've I'm still in my work gear I'm still in my scruff um, I'll come home from work I get a valid good wash 
snow foam there. Look at that, even the van looked like it had a dome on it. I had that much snow foam on it. Gave him a real good wash. And I'm even going to treat him to some um, some tire shine. Why not? You know what I mean? We've got, we've got a week off, so um, you know things to be done in that. The bar looks like a bit of a car crash. I've still got the remnants of the other night uh, going on. So um, yeah, I'm just I'm just hoping, I'm just hoping and praying that this works because if you don't, then I've um, you know spent a lot of money on some. Uh, well, it's not all that amount of money, but the powder isn't cheap, and uh, and I think it probably needs to be in the dedicated dishwasher. Um, so if this doesn't work, I hope you enjoyed the video. <laughs> I've enjoyed making it. Have a laugh. Um, it'll probably be heavily edited to squish it down to about a 35 minute video. Um, and um, I've got my grandson coming around very shortly. My Fitbit's gone flat. Oh, do you know what? I'm actually looking forward to this. I'm really tired. I'm really, really tired. Um, and um, it's still an absolutely an awesome looking um, head on that. It's so smooth. I'm really pleased with how I, I get the smoothness of the head. I really am. Let's go in for the second pour. I love this. Uh, this invention is absolutely awesome. It really, really is. It really is. And I tell you what, let, look, I've not let go of that this time. When you have the Guinness, they're so clever. The inventor of this, um, I, I will, I will um, tag him in this, put his name in, uh, or whatever. The inventor of this, who is the head of quality at um, Guinness, what a great job he's done. Lovely design. And um, this replicates the um, the actual pourer uh, to get the, the right flow. Um, I think they have something in the in the nozzle to to generate it around. But the shape of that has been done. So here we go. So we settle in nicely. It's looking good. Guinness draft from the Nitro Surge. Here it is again, once again. Good domage. Got my next door neighbour. You can probably hear his nail gun going. He's actually making himself a bar. This is a bit. He's a bit bigger than mine. He's going to have like a man cave and a little gym and a shed as well. So um, yeah, that's coming on really nice. So I've told him this place is open. Should he need a beer while he's working? But anyway, right. Please. Please, 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 give me the lacing, baby. I, I mean, it's, not so much the, it's not so much the lacing afterwards. It's that initial first cream that I want. That's what I want. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Thank you so much for putting up for me and my waffle. And thank you, Guinness. Uh, let's, uh, let's launch this. Come on. That is not bad. Oh, I'm happy with that. Yes, I'm happy with that. There we go. So I think apart from that little, little bit of room now, you know what I reckon that is, right? Because I've stood this. Oh. I've stood this on the side of the bar upside down. And... Um, and it's literally, um, I think the water's just hung around there. I don't know. Oh, I'm pleased with that. That'll do. Right, ladies and gentlemen, regardless of how this video, there's probably people out there who are watching this going, oh, I can get it better than that. And if you can, please share it with me. Please put it in the comments. If you, if you can do it better, go to our Instagram page, which is the underscore Spencer underscore arms. I would love you to follow us there. Uh, we don't do a lot a lot on there, but if you follow us and you manage to get a good pint of Guinness with a lace in, um, tag us in it, please. And um, yeah, it'll be it'll, it'll be wonderful. Let's share the love, share the Guinness love and uh, have a this is actually a Friday night. So have a great weekend and um, yeah, and hopefully you've enjoyed this video. And thank you to all the new subscribers as well. Excuse me, um, you know, it's building slowly, building slowly. Okay, so take care everybody on this hand pull and get a lacing all the way down the glass. I can have lagers with no bubbles, no nucleation points on the side of the glass. It's all, all in the head. It's all doing what it should do, as I'm going to show you right now.